I've been watching paellas all over the internet, and obviously also on Reddit. The thing is, they call them paellas, but they are not paellas. So I made this video with an easy recipe that can be done almost anywhere in the world. To make a paella, the first thing you need is a paella. This is what we call a paella. If you're not in Spain, it is very hard to find. So I propose this pan with high edges and quite large. With this, we are gonna make a paella for two. It is important that the rice is made along, a thin layer of rice, that is what you want. There are ingredients for the paella that are hard to find even in Spain. The garrofo is one of them, so we will replace it with simple green beans. Paella is usually made with chicken and rabbit, but I know you don't want to eat your pets, so we're gonna go just with the chicken. Two whole legs and two wings will be more than enough for a paella for two. So let's do this. First, we need extra virgin olive oil. We have the best and the cheapest in the world, but I guess you could use some other vegetable oil. With the chicken cut in small pieces, add some salt and pepper and fry it until golden brown. Paella is usually done over medium-high heat, so you have to keep moving the ingredients if you don't want them to burn. In the traditional paella, you don't use that much garlic. There is people that don't even use it, but we're using less ingredients, so I think it'll give a nice touch. Then we are going to add the green beans. As you can see, they are cut in big pieces. Once the chicken is well browned, add some paprika, sweet paprika, not hot, not smoked, but sweet paprika. If you find pimenton de la vera, much better. Roast it for a few seconds, three, five seconds, and then add the grated tomatoes. And let it sit for three, four minutes. Then cover the chicken with water, add some salt and yellow food coloring. Some will tell you that they use saffron, not food coloring, but trust me, most people go for the food coloring. Saffron is very expensive. Obviously you will lose some taste, but the thing is to make it easy. And now we are gonna let it boil for about 20 minutes. We are making a broth and we will need two and a half parts of broth for each part of rice. For two, you can go with 200 grams of rice, so you will need half a liter of broth. You have to consider that you will lose some water during the process. You want a tasty clean broth, so if impurities come out, remove them with a skimmer. Twenty to twenty-five minutes have passed and the broth is ready. Now add the rice and you have to go with the flow. Start with eight minutes at high heat and then in the next ten minutes you want the broth to dry out and the rice well cooked. So if you go with too much heat the broth will dry out too soon and the rice will burn. If you go too low the rice will absorb too much broth and it will be overcooked and you will obviously lose some texture. It requires some practice, but the idea is that the base ends caramelizing, creating the classic sukarrat, a layer of toasted rice at the base. And this is it, let's go for it. Well, 
There it is. Let's go for it. Looks nice. Uh, it's the first time I do it with this thing, but it looks pretty real to me. And let's go. Let's give it a whirl. It's great. It's paella. Maybe a little bit of rosemary would be good, but uh, the texture is the right one. You see, the rice has to be very dry. There has to be roasted in the base. It's caramelized and it's good. It has a bit of crunchy. It's lots of garlic that you can just mix it up now. And I think it's good uh, paella to do it anywhere in the world. I hope you try it. Have fun!